And yeah, by the uh, title, you saw that we had a house fire. Um, nobody was hurt, no pets, nothing like that. Everybody was safe. Um, it's all property loss, but it's a pretty severe property loss. Um, I don't know if the house is going to be totaled or not. Um, I lost a bunch of equipment, a uh, bunch of film equipment and computer equipment. I lost a couple laptops, um, a bunch of stuff. I, I just don't want to go through it right now. Uh, but I have a, I have an adjuster um, or a, a claims, claims person on my side uh, that is handling all of the negotiations with the the insurance company and doing all the inventory and cleanup and everything else. I didn't even know that such a thing existed and I'm really glad that it is because I was completely overwhelmed. So, don't know what caused the fire yet, assuming it's electrical because I can't think of anything else it would be. Uh, you know, 100, and 100 plus year old house now, uh, old knob and tube wiring in the walls, squirrels, mice. Um, you know, who knows. So I will, you know, I'll see if I can keep you apprised as things go on. There's not a lot I know right now. They're still working things out. Um, we'll go from there. And I am uh, taking a break from all of the uh, excitement and trauma. And uh, now that things have died down a little, I am going to take some time and replant some peppers. So this is my uh, tiny little pepper garden. I suppose it doesn't look as tiny as it really is, but uh, yeah, this is this is what I've got. I've got a couple of these that have been nibbled on by critters, which makes me very unhappy. But uh, the ones that I'm trying to do replanting on are this one, this one, and this one. Uh, these are all Carolina, Carolina Reapers, and I don't think they really have any chance of fruiting before anything comes up. I got a few Serranos coming in, though. Nice. I already had one jalapeno come up, and somebody is trying to dig. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, you can see some of these things have been nipped off and not much I can do about that a couple coming in there these are just bloomed so yeah. a couple things going on nothing is really nothing is really happening as far as actual peppers yet but I'm not really expecting that this is a much shorter growing season up here and I didn't get started until late so, not exactly the uh, the primary primary source of my entertainment as it once was. Um, Piper's gone over to explore the neighbors, and I'm a little upset about that because she just completely ignored me, and she looked right at me and then said, "No, I'm going to go." Can probably go get her, but Isis is over here now, and I don't want to encourage her to go over there too. So I'm trying to make that happen. So I've got the three um, planting pots here. They're ready to go, and this is my multi-purpose gardening tool. Since I don't have any of my gardening tools here, uh, we make two. Oh, and look, Piper has come back. She's decided to rejoin us. All right, it's time to get a button. One down. And I managed to sneak in a few more. Uh, all these little ones here are habaneros, and then the three little tiny ones are serranos. I don't have a good feeling that they're going to thrive, but I want to give them a chance. You know, they were very, very late in the season. They were they were like the last closeout before. The hardware store sold, you know, get rid of their plants. But, uh, yeah, 
it's uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do, I guess. We've got some little ones coming in here. That's kind of nice. What are these? Uh, oh, Tabascos. Yeah. Uh, those are still waiting to bloom. We've got the Serranos coming in a little bit. I've had a Jalapeno. Uh, nothing else is really doing very much. Another Jalapeno. Uh, I think that's Jalapeno. Yeah, maybe not. It might be a, a hot or pepper. Oh, it's a habanero. Nice. Okay. So I might get one habanero pepper. <laughs> the soil here is very uh, poor. There's there's a little bit of topsoil, maybe a couple inches, and then it's just sand. And the topsoil is very very sparse. Uh, very very difficult to grow stuff on it. It also drains very quickly. So the dirt I got for these, I mean, I've been mixing it. This is left over from last year's dirt, and then this year I got more compost, uh, some organic compost, and put it in there, and uh, a few other things. So it looks like it's better. It looks like the soil is better this time. So I'm feeling good about that. And if you notice the colors of the habaneros are more yellow. They are lacking nutrients and I think it might be magnesium. Um, I'm not sure. But I want to uh, give them a chance. You know, why not? 